hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will guide you on how you can auto deploy your node.js code onto your vps server using the github actions so let's start with the video so as you can see i have created this dummy node.js project for this video and i already pushed this code to my github repository so you can also check so for auto deploy using the github actions we need a yml file so this is my yml file i will explain this uh, file step by step so before explaining so i already uh, deployed this code on my vps server so this is my test server and on this server so th this code is already running so if you see pm2 ls so you can see this code is already running so I have already explained these steps in my uh, previous video. So you can check out this video on how to deploy Node.js app on EC2 installs. This video is regarding the auto deployment using the GitHub Actions. So this is the uh, file which I have created. So first you will see this is the trigger. So this triggers the workflow only when code is pushed to the main branch. And next we have jobs. This defines the job named deploy that will run on a github hosted ubuntu virtual machine and next we have steps so first step is connect to ssh so this step will read the ssh file from the github secrets and decode it into the file named ec2 key and then uh, we are applying some permissions so this will apply secure permissions so it can be used with ssh securely and next we have ssh and pull latest code so in this step, first we will connect to the EC2 server via SSH using the private key and the credentials and then we will execute these commands. So I will explain these commands. So this will go to the directory and then we will check out to the main branch, pull the latest code from the uh, Git repository and then we will install dependencies if we have used any new dependency and then we will restart the PM2 process. So the last step is cleanup. So we will delete the SSH private key from the GitHub runner. So to work this script, so first we have to add the secrets dev key, dev host and the user. So this is my repository and I have already added uh, my secret variables where you can check dev host. So this is the IP address. So here you can see this is the IP address and uh, in the key we have to add uh, ssh key in the dev key we have to add base 64 of the private key and then dev user we have ubuntu user here so dev key is the base 64 of your pem file so you can use any online website base 64 and code online so let's say this is the website so this is my pem file and you you have to open it in any browser and then you can copy this text and paste it in this website this will create a base64 so and you can copy this text and paste it in dev key secret i have already added this uh, secrets next let's try to execute this so this is my file let me push the latest code. So I have uh, changed the text test api and uh, this step is removed. So latest code. Next is push the latest code. So you will see it will execute the action. So let's open this action. So here are the steps and you can see, so as you can see this is completed. So let's verify. So as you can see 
दिस इज रिस्टार्ट ट्वेंटी फोर सेकेंड सो सो लेट्स ट्राई टू एक्सेस द यू आर एल कॉपी दिस आई पी एंड द कोड इज रनिंग ऑन थ्री थाउजेंड पोर्ट सो दिस इज द टेस्ट ए पी सो लेट्स ट्राई टू चेंज दिस टेक्सट अगेन ए पी आई वी टू पुश दिस लेटेस्ट कोड इन दिस विल एग्जीक्यूट द स्क्रिप्ट अगेन this is done so let's try to access the url again so as you can see code is auto deployed so in this way you can uh, use github actions to auto deploy your node js code on the vps server if you have any query regarding this video so you can comment in the comment section i would love to reply thanks for watching